Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of Okami HD. In the last episode, we departed from Kusa Village. Um, went to Sasa Sanctuary, only to find out that we couldn't get in because uh, the boss pharaoh's daughter was missing. But we hunted her down. We found her in the delicate care of Mr. and Mrs. Cutter. <laughs> um, but we got them away from her and we brought her back here. Safe and sound. And we did a fun digging mini game. Got us a new power. We we're able to control water now. And give people baths, which Ami hates apparently. <laughs> uh, hello. You're a sparrow I have not met before. <laughs> Are you the boss's wife? Can I talk to you? Can't talk to you in the water. Oh wait, I could probably just make a lily pad. But, <laughs> like, excuse you, <laughs> bather. At last the bathhouse is back to normal. And there's nothing like being the first one in. Ah, the watch is fantastic. Please, would you mind not staring quite so much? But you're so beautiful. Though. <laughs> Little Sparrow. Sasa's bathhouse is famous for its powerful geyser, you know. Feel like you're flying when you're on top of the water jet. Alright, in any case, we, um... Yeah, we completed this minigame. We can now control water. We did the special water mechanism. And now we can head into the bamboo grove. And proceed onwards. In our hunt for... The K9 Warriors. Totally forgot about that quest. I got some sparrows. Let's go feed them. I do this now before it turns into nighttime. Travelers pray to this little guy for a safe journey. A lot, a lot of these just hanging around. Oh, someone's having a rainy day. Excuse me, let me feed these sparrows in front of this sparrow. This giant sparrow man. How you doing? Hi! <laughs> tweet! Tweet! Whoa, get a load of Tweety here! Hey, what's with all the chirping, kid? Don't call me kid! I have a name, you know. It's Ty. And I'm not chirping, I'm crying. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> Cry baby Ty. Cry baby Ty. <laughs> That's your title? Oh, you're crying. So what's with that freaky cry of yours? Rude. <laughs> Take's lost. He disappeared while we were out for a walk. Tweet, tweet! Who's Take? Is he a friend of yours? He's my dog! I lost my dog! Tweet, tweet! Uh, hi, this came out. Is this the dog that we're looking for, I guess? Whoa, the canine tracker suddenly appeared! That must mean. Tweet, tweet! My dog Take's lost. He disappeared while we're out for a walk. Tweet, tweet. Oh, relax, Tweety. I'm sure your dog will be back. All right, let's follow the canine tracker. <laughs> Luckily, we have something that can track dogs. Oh, uh, there's some tigers here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the dog's okay. <laughs> They, you didn't- the dog didn't meet a, a terrible fate, did they? Pretty sure tigers aren't against eating dog. Well, I'm gonna feed them some meat. Hopefully that'll keep them at bay. Hmm? See what I see, Ami? Unless I'm hallucinating or something. That bamboo over there looks like it's flashing. Maybe we'll find something interesting inside if we cut it down. Alright, it's kinda like we're... What happened with Chi? 
Except this one is running around and blinking. Hey, like, more tigers. Let's feed them. <laughs> Let's feed them, too. Alright, two more tigers. Get more praise. Um, okay, so I guess we just have to time it right. Bingo! What's a dog doing in there? They sure like to sleep in bamboo. How do they get in there? Tweet! The Take! Take's back! Take? What's wrong, boy? Why are you growling? Tweet! Wait a minute. Was this white wolf who spirited you, spirited you away? Oh, give me a break. Hey, wait. I think this flea bag's trying to say something. Hmm? White Wolf. What right do you have to bear the canine tracker? Fight me and prove that you are worthy. Canine Warrior Gee. Wait, you're not you're not talking. Eh? <laughs> Hear that, Abby? This must be one of the canine warriors. That canine tracker really set him off. What'll it be, Abby? Pick a fight? I I guess so. We gotta I gotta fight dog to dog. It's like, it's like when men punch each other. Apparently, this it's just their love language. <laughs> okay, you sure you're ready? Don't punch people to talk to them, please. Don't hold back now. All right, fighting against K9 Warrior Gi. He is kind of like I don't know if I can cherry bomb him. He's kind of like Tay, except he's a lot faster. Haha! <laughs> that was pure luck. Yeah, you're like you're you're Tay on speed. Lots of speed. I wonder if I could try count. Did you just spit dirt at me, sir? I want to try to counter him, but I'm like terrible at aiming. All right, none of that. <laughs> I, I lost a whole spirit orb. Toss dirt at me. Sir. You're a fast bugger. <laughs> God, stop dancing. Alright, that took way too much time that I wanted it to. Thanks for the health. We did bad on time, we did okay-ish on damage. Got hit once. Actually got hit a few times. Get it out! Leave him alone! I won't allow you to bully Taki like that! Keep it up and I'll clobber you! Wait a sec, Tweety! We're not bullying anybody! Right, you flea bag? Come on, say something! I know Princess Fus Fuse summons me. It is my duty to defeat Crimson Helm to a filer of the Gale Shrine. But I cannot return. This place is in grave danger. The monsters will overrun Sasa Sanctuary without me. And the Sparrow Tribe. They would all be. Oh, what shall I do? Oh, that's the power of the orb. You obtained Duty Orb. What's this? The Power Orb has chosen you. I need worry no longer. I shall remain here and battle the monsters for the Sparrow Tribe. Even separated the hearts of the Canine Warriors, Beach has won. Huh? Hey, wait a second. <laughs> um, the Power orb, orb has chosen you. I'm now freed from my duty. Follow where your heart leads. Huh. 
Okay, whatever. I suppose it'll, it'll all make sense eventually. <laughs> he still just accepts it. Uh, Alright, let's not forget to feed him. Uh, I know there's no prompt to, but he's a dog that we can feed for praise. Alrighty, and I think if you forget to feed him, uh, he disappears from this area, but I think he just gets relocated to the boss's room. I must say, this child of the Sparrow tribe is doting on me. It's a little annoying. I'm not a pet. You don't say. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> I won't allow you to really talk eh, like that. Keep it up and I'll clobber you. Okay, okay, the fight's over. Tweet! Hey, would you mind losing that freaky face, Tweety? <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a few more things we need to get here before we can leave. Let's feed these bunnies. I think that's all the animals here that we can feed. Um, now there's some something here, I think? There it is. It'd be great if it was, like, visible. <laughs> I got a stray bead. This is stray bead, what, number 32? I th Yeah, this is stray bead number 32. It's so hard to see, unless it's nighttime. And I think there's another treasure here. Oh god, I don't know where it is. Eh. There it is. Got a golden peach. Mystical fruit that fills the astral pouch instantly. Alrighty, now I just gotta leave. Make like a leaf. Make like a tree and leaf. Alright. Mm, cage here. <laughs> I broke it. It's like a pot, I guess. Uh, I want to say there's another treasure here as well. Birdie. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Get out of my mouth. Eh. We just dig a million holes like a dog. There it is. Jesus. Okay. I got incense burner. It's just something I could sell. And there's another hidden treasure. By the hot spring. Oh, oh, hi. Ah, what a fabulous hot spring. Wolfie, I heard a ruckus from afar, but... Why don't you wash off all that grime in the hot spring? Hot spring? I think we'll pass. Anyway, isn't it about time you started looking for bamboo? Oh, you're right! The festival is just around the corner! Falls on the night of the full moon. Why do you get quiet all of a sudden? The, the night of the full moon? Yep, Kamiki Village holds the Kamiki Festival on the night of the full moon during this time of year. You've heard the legend of how the great heroes Nagi and Shiranui defeated the terrible beast with the help of the gods, haven't you? That's why the village pays homage to the gods and the sacred tree. This year is the 100th anniversary of the beast's defeat. I'd better finish that bamboo ware I want to sell at the festival. Alright, happy music. Hot oh, dog, I just love festivals. We gotta remember to go back to Kabiki Village on that day. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Oh, by the way, Wolfie. I'd like to give you a little something to thank you for your help in the hot spring digging game. It isn't much, but you may find it useful. Here you go. I got a mermaid coin. This is something that we can buy at shops too. Thanks, Gramps! Whoa. That's some grubby pocket change. <laughs> there are many small springs known as mermaid springs across Nippon. 
They say you can pass between them by tossing in one of those coins. If true, you could travel across Nippon in a blink of an eye. <laughs> really? Those are some wicked coins. They must be extremely valuable. No, no, not really. You could even buy them at stores around here. I only kept it because it was kind of cute. I don't have much, so you'll have to excuse me. <laughs> Give us a cheap bobble. The most festival season, the full moon will soon rise. It's been exactly 100 years since that beast was slain. But I always think of Kaguya when I talk of the moon. Oh, how she used to love gazing up at the moon. Oh, that's another folktale. Oh, there I go again, reminiscing about the past. I'll end up in the poorhouse if I don't finish my bamboo wear soon. Poor man can never retire. Alright. Would you like to take a dip in the water? It'll make you feel great. The water can heal any injury. We're clean enough without any stinking baths. Alright. Uh, let's see if I can find this last treasure. I knew this thing would make a big bang when it finally moved. Isn't it the bath attendant's job to get it moving, though? Am I the only one that doesn't trust that pip squeak? <laughs> pip squeak calling another... Another dude a pip squeak. The gang holes. I finished fin that hole. It's gonna be like the most obvious place. Eh. <laughs> this is such an inconvenient way to do this. Is it here? It's not worth it for a piece of pottery. <laughs> eh. Whatever, I'm dedicated. Okay, it's nighttime. <laughs> Save me nighttime. There it is. Wow, okay. I was way off. Got some lacquerware. I can eat my rice in there. Or sell it for money. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Now it's finally night time, I can also find this a little bit easier. Wow, it's right there. I thought I dug here! Guess not. Alright, there's Stray B30. <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah, that's everything. We fed all the... Fed all the... Creatures, found all the clovers... Found all the stray beads. Oh, right, I should probably read... I got some new entries as well. Let's see, Water Spout. Do they have any tips? It's 12 pages. One of the 13 celestial brush powers mastered by Nuragami. Place the brush on the surface of the water and move it towards the target. This allows you to transport water to a new location. Also, you can use it on power springs located throughout the environment. Place the brush on the power spring and move it upward. Pillar of water will erupt, transporting you to higher places. Moving water and forming pillars. These are the powers of water spout. Water spout tips. When the brush is over a water target, Loose holy smoke appears. Move the brush from there to move water to your destination. To get a, create a pillar of water, place the brush near a power spring. Then draw a straight line upward. The length does not matter. <laughs> there, there will be some fire enemies too, although using water against them is pretty limited because you have you have to have like a water source nearby in order to splash them with water, so limited usage there. Uh one of the new animals that we found. I found the mouse. Robust little rodents, full of energy and eat anything. Also, vectors for disease. Uh, got a new entry for canine warrior Gi. Gi stands for duty. To remain firm in one's duties in each and every aspect of life. Bravery and duty go hand in hand. Bravery shows one what is right. 
The greatest form of bravery is that born from a sense of duty. I also forgot to show off the entry for Crow Tengu, which was what Mr. Mrs. Cutter were. They always, they always have like weird depictions. Like, I've seen other depictions of Tengu as like having really big noses, like, or otherwise, or like winged, like winged men, or or like winged creatures with beaks, kind of like harpies. A creature, or although harpies are technically like have like a body of a woman, these are more depicted as like men. Creature comprised of the soul of a dead swordsman and a crow. This enemy strikes with the skill and artistry of a master samurai. They're often depicted as carrying fans, cut down thrown fans, and be even quicker on the draw than them. Swordsmanship better than their own makes them leave in disgrace. Tales speak of swordsmen cutting through their sword defense. Yeah, that's why I like it. If, when they like try to try to like parry or hold their sword up in defense, it's like, oh, there's my chance to power slash them. Kind of like the red imps when they hold their loots in front of them, break their break their weapon. Okey doke. Now we could use the mermaid spring, but our next destination is pretty darn close. By anyway, we need to go. You go to Gata Forest. It's just like a hop, skip, and jumping away. Um, and I also want to visit the Cutter's house again, even though they they don't live here anymore. They they <laughs> they moved. Totally moved. But now that we have Water Spout, uh, there's a few new areas we can explore. Water Spout this, and we can reach this ledge here. That's a very big spout. Get ourselves another clover. Let's get ourselves another clover. I don't know. It feels a little fancy to fly up here. All right, and if we remember, there's also a chest that's on fire that was in this tunnel. I think we could grab one of the fire chests, but the other one, I think it's a little bit too far away for the puddle. We can grab the first one at least. Was it in this cave or the one up above? A little bit, a little bit of a walk. Hello, gickering foxes. Run, run, run. I love the running animation. Okay, here's one chest. A nice little puddle here. I said, nice little puddle here. Got a crystal. Crystallized quartz that emits an enchanting sparkle. Alright, and then the other one... A little bit far. A little bit far away from the water. I, I don't expect- I don't think I can cheese this. Well, maybe. Do I, do I try the cheese? Uh, and <laughs> seems like I could have cheesed it at night. Uh huh. I don't know. I don't know if I can cheese that. Eh. Oh, did I cheese? Oh my god, I cheesed it. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be able to do that, but I got I got the stray beast. <laughs> Alright, let's mark that off my list. <laughs> I'm supposed to wait until I can like get rid of the fire um another way. Uh okay, let me mark this off or else I'm just gonna keep thinking I'm gonna I need to get it. The street bead number where is it? Uh 
There it is. 20, 25. Technically, you need a celestial breath, a uh, brush technique for wind, but we were able to get it with water. Um, all right, to Agata Forest. Our next destination, where the next dog is. The origin mirror has <laughs> like treasure? No treasure. Now we're back in Agata. I think if there's anything I can get with the power of water on my side. Oh god, don't fall in the water. Swept away. Um, I think there were some... Hi, little boy. Uh, did you lose your dog again? Oh, it's you again! Hey, have you seen my dog, Ume? He's always with me when I'm fishing. Disappeared when I wasn't looking. You don't think he could have fallen into the deep abyss, do you? The water in the deep abyss has always been a bit murky. But today you can barely see into it, and the surface is all ripply. My fisherman's intuition tells me the legendary fish has awoken. People call it... Whopper! They say it swallowed the moon reflected on the water's surface. You don't think Whopper swallowed up Ume, do you? Well, I can't find him alone. Maybe I'll go talk to that lady who is visiting Hitoshio Spring. Uh, okay, we need to go to Hitoshio Spring, I guess. <laughs> the ominous. Da -da -da -da. All right, we'll go. Maybe Toshio's Spring. Although my map's saying over there. Yeah, Ume Ume's not on that island. Hmm. Yeah, let's go visit Matt and Matt and Fawn first, or more importantly, the chest outside Matt and Fawn's. Like a water spout up here. Up, up we go. I'm just like, wait, <laughs> that I can't. I can go. I can go on your roof. Oh wait, I saw something else. You know, dogs can't look up. I'm gonna slash that and I'll trust the bounce back. Got some lacquerware. Yeah, not important collectible, but we can sell it. Okie doke. Let's. I missed. Got to bullhorn. Some sellable stuff. Got a stray bead, which is a collectible that we need. And a holy bone. I haven't visited Madame Fawn in a while. Maybe we can get another fortune from her. Very unnecessary, but <laughs> she'll probably just tell us what Kokari said. <laughs> Hello, creepy lady. I knew you'd come, White Wolf. You are troubled. Well then, if you have money, I'm ready. Interested? Why not? You look like you need some money. Aha! Then let us listen to what the bones have to say, friend. Wah! It's coming to me! I can see it! The eight spirits are eager to undo the evil that blocks the wind. Aid a troubled girl near a holy spring deep in the forest. A proud canine spirit shall reappear. Can't tell you any more for now. You'll have to seek out clues yourself. Ha ha ha. I obtained another prediction from her. All right, it's so pretty much what Kokari said. <laughs> so go to the go to the spring. There's a, there's a lady there. All right, let's not forget to mark off the stray bead that I just got. Seventeen. That's the last stray bead in this area. Hmm. 
And the Toshio Spring. Oh, Kokari's dead. Hi there, Wolfie. Have you seen my son Kokari? I'm totally obsessed with fishing lately, but I'm worried that he's not respecting nature like he should. If he's not careful, he can get himself into all kinds of trouble. Nature may be beautiful, but it also has a dangerous, darker side. People can even lose their lives to it if they don't respect it. Oh, my son hasn't gotten himself into any kind of trouble. <laughs> he's <laughs> definitely in trouble right now, but... Let's ignore that. Uh, how many demon... I have 13 demon fangs. I can't buy anything from the demon fang trader right now. I think I need 30? Hi, it's, uh... What's your name? <laughs> Kushi, that's your name. <laughs> I was just like, ah. Uh... <laughs> mm, the water here is so lovely and cool. Now, time to get to work. Here's the barrel. Hmm. Why, looky here, it's Kushi. What you up to here, sweetie? Oh, it's you. Snowy and Isun. I'm here making preparations for the annual Kamiki Festival. I've come to get water for the holy sake we offer to the gods. People say that the water here at Atoshio Spring has divine powers. We always mix it with the holy sake we use for the festival. That way we can make eight purification sake. Whoa, hold it right there, sister. Eight purification sake? You mean the sacred drink of ancient legend? That's right. Goes back to the legend of Nagi and Shiranui. It was a miraculous sake that they used to defeat Orochi. Apparently they got the beast drunk and cut off its heads. It certainly smells strong enough to intoxicate anything. <laughs> is there any you want to taste? I don't know if the legend's really true or not, but we offer sake to the gods at festival time and pray for peace. Seem troubled though. By the way, sweetie, I was wondering. You plan on filling this barrel with water? That's right. We need enough for all of the villagers. So I have to fill this barrel to the brim. But how are you gonna fill a big barrel with water? And even if you can, how are you gonna carry it back to the village? Hmm. That's a good point. I hadn't thought of that because Susano usually takes care of it. He can handle the barrel as if it was light as a feather. Oh, I guess he's strong. <laughs> even though he's an idiot, he's strong at least. <laughs> There's no way I can manage it on my own though. How silly of me not to think this through. I wonder how I'm gonna get the spring water into the barrel. Silly girl. I mean, <laughs> it's the game's like, hello, water. <laughs> that was silly of me not to think this through. I wonder how I'm gonna get the spring water into the barrel. Well, I suppose you could fill the barrel with spring water if you could harness the power of water. I guess she totally understands what that means, right? Wh what do you mean you can't water bend? That's odd. How does the water get into the barrel all by itself? Isn't it strange how the barrel filled with water like that? I wonder if it'll keep going until it's full. Let's just wait for the magical water bending to fill up your barrel. Alright, one more time and it'll be up to the brim. Now we're gonna have to carry this back. <laughs> Yay! How wonderful! The barrel's full of spring water already! This'll be plenty for the holy sake for the festival. Excellent! Now we just have to get it back to the village. Carry it home? But it must weigh a ton! Uh... Oh no! What is it? D d do you want some of this spring water? S sorry, I'll be getting this barrel out of your way so soon. Uh, no, just leave the barrel. Huh. Oh. Is the water holy? I guess the water is special. 
back, you beast! Susado is here. Here I am, just taking a walk, and look what I run into! Oh, it's you! Susano! <laughs> Take one more step towards the lady, and it'll b b be your last! <laughs> the the g great Susano! Descendant of the hero Nagi f f forbids it! D do not despair, my fair Kushi! Susano is here to save the d d day! <laughs> Josh is sorry. Uh oh, this looks bad. I. I swing my sword in the name of love! Susano style sword of passion! Here I go! You! <laughs> Leave! My! Cushy! Alone! Huh? Susano, watch out! Hey, you did it, Pops! That was amazing! You look kinda scared at first, but you pulled it off for the lady. <laughs> I ate him. Uh oh. Susano! Um, th thank you. I didn't expect to see such ferocious monsters here. Are you hurt? Susano? I knew it. I knew it all along. Strange things have been happening ever since then. First that boulder and Kamiki, then that battle with the bear. And now this. My sword is possessed by strange power. You listen to me, O oh spirit who defiles my sword. I shall not be controlled like some puppet. By the gods, I shall expose your nefarious schemes. Uh, there he goes. He still hasn't connected it to us. Let. <laughs> Gross wolf spit. The magnificent is soon takes offense. Why, Ayana? Hmm. Where did where's Susano? Where did he go running off to? He left without saying a word. What was he thinking? I mean, he just won the battle. Now it's time to win the damsel's heart. At least he could have stuck around to help carry the barrel. It's okay. I think he's busy with other things. There's no need to bother him with this. I'm sure I can manage on my own from here, anyway. Ah, uh, what was that? That sounded like that Kukari kid. Is he in trouble again? You better go check it out, Abby. Uh oh. Oh, the canine tracker came out. Whoa! The canine tracker suddenly appeared. So that means, uh, I hope Kushi's okay all alone, but maybe this, the, the water will protect her. Oof! It's so heavy! C couldn't give me a hand, could you, Snowy? Wake up, sister! Does it look like my furry friend could carry that? <laughs> Even the hobby's sweating. <laughs> this area should be free of evil power, and the water has sacred properties, so you definitely won't be attacked on the way back. Oof, it's so heavy! What did I just say? Sheesh. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to leave her behind. We have to go help Kokari. Uh, he's on the same island that he's usually at.
What's wrong, kiddo? Grr. Well, looks like you got a big one there, kid. With all that noise you were making, I was sure the monsters... Uh... Oh no! Ume! Ume! Shoot! My line snapped! Curse you, Whopper! I'm gonna catch you! What is up with Ume and getting eaten by things? You're gonna pay for what you did to Ume! <laughs> Even Ami's like, oh, he mad! Hey, kid, where'd that humongous fish come from? Wasn't that your dog Ume in its mouth? Now it's a legendary fish, Whopper! They say it swallowed the moon's moon reflected on the water's surface. So it really does live in these deep, murky waters. Well, it's gonna pay for gobbling up old Ume. Sheesh, that dog sure gets eaten a lot, doesn't he? I mean, <laughs> you said it, soon. I don't have any fishing line left, but I'll snag that whopper yet. It shall be a battle to avenge Ume. He's not dead yet, I think. Hey, Abby, this is getting more interesting by the minute. That whopper or whatever it's, it's called would be quite a catch. Let's stick around and see if we can help him catch it. Help catch the legendary whopper? You bet. Now that's what I want to hear. Let's get psyched up. Okay, yeah, I mean, you got the basic idea, right? Draw a line from the tip of the pole to Whopper. Don't let this big one... Don't let it be... Bleh, don't let it be the big one that got away. Alright. First we gotta catch some smaller fish before Whopper appears. Another crab. This guy's just small fry. Got a bite. What was this? Crawfish? Got a crawfish. All right, here's. Here's Big Daddy. <laughs> Big Daddy Whopper. I got a bite! Alright, he's gonna be... Oh god. Kokari has lots of health. He can, he can handle a little bit of stress in the red. This guy takes multiple hits. I caught Whopper. Another one-time fish you can get. I think pretty soon we'll have to be able to just idly fish with Kokari in this area. Um, I think if we proceed through the story too much, though, he, he does leave this area. But we can still catch the fish in Agata in another location. I knew I could do it! I finally caught Whopper! Uh, where, where's the dog? <laughs> and here I was, so worried about you, kid. You're one fine fisherman, you, you should be proud of yourself. Keep on fishing and make sure to bring along plenty of line. How, how could I ever fish again? I mean, what about Ume? He's never coming back. Oh boy, the crybaby's back. Don't worry, after all you... Mm hmm? Look, the surface of the deep abyss is bright and shiny as a mirror. The moon's reflected reflection sure looks beautiful. Hmm. Where's the moon? How come I only see its reflection? <laughs> ah, ah, I got a constellation. Hey, look! Another constellation! Uh, okay, we gotta... 
It's like, uh, ear, foot, whatever that is. Got the- got the rabbit! Isn't it like some sort of... Some sort of, like, <laughs> making mochi? <laughs> Bonk. Uh-oh. Mommy wanted to eat the mochi. No mochi for you. <laughs> okay, back to conversing. Yumi got me. Ah, Amaterasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. After your departure, I hid myself within the moon's reflection. Consumed by a fish, I patiently awaited this day in its belly. Now that a glimmer of hope has returned, I have returned. I, Yumigami, god of the moon, cover the earth in pale moonlight. Use this light in conjunction with your own on your perilous journey. This reflects the power of Ami's son. Also cool that it's also a rabbit. Isn't there like a, I don't know, it's a folktale or just... Kind of like a... Like a more recent thing where they they joked around that there's like rabbits on the moon, <laughs> or maybe it's like one of the maybe like some of the craters kind of look like a bunny on there. Yumi Gummy, the god of the moon, or the moon power. So Whopper really did swallow up the moon reflected on the water. Now you have the celest the crescent brush technique. That one lets you draw a crescent moon in the sky. It's said to have the power to turn day into night. Finally, we can now control the time of day. You know, for, like, for a while we were only able to bring up the suns, but now we can turn it into night, which has a lot of other bonuses, like treasure hunting or monster contracts. I wonder if it'll really work. Could drawing a curved line in the sky really bring out the moon? Alright, I think we have to- yeah, we just draw this with the mouth facing to the left, and it'll make a crescent moon in the sky. The moon! The moon! It's come out! Now you have the power to turn day into night! <laughs> think of the nighttime pleasures that await. I know that sounds tempting, but first things first. We saw that matter Princess Fuste asked us to deal with. Oh, there's- there's Ume. <laughs> there's the dog! He's fine. Hey! Uh, uh, it, it's Ume! He came out of Whopper's mouth! You okay, boy? I knew it would spit Ume out. <laughs> he soon has a lot of experience with being eaten. That's why I told you not to worry. I mean, just look at him. He looks like one nasty tasting canine. What do you mean? He, look, he looks like a... <laughs> he looks like a sweet... Sweet Sakura mochi. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Never seen an ugly, uglier looking dog in my life. Do you took offense to that. What? I say something wrong? Just trying to have a little fun like I do with Furball here. Oh, it talks. White Wolf. How did you come to bear the canine tracker? Hmm. There's a familiar scent in the air. My former comrades. It emanates from your body. What the? Well, it's none of your business how we smell. <laughs> it's just that we don't like to take baths, that's all. Hey, wait. Did you just say something about the canine tracker? The canine tracker decrees that its bearer shall prove its strength. I shall be the one to test it. Canine warrior Jin. All right, his real name is Jin, not Ume. What the? You're one of the eight canine warriors. I ah, mean, this dog means business. Make a fight. I guess. I guess we're fighting. There was thought we'd be going up against you. Bring it on, Snaggletooth. What do you mean? He's like the cutest dog. Cute little pink dog with a flower on its butt. All right. Oh god, uh, you are fast as well, buddy! Can I bomb you, for starters? 
Oh god, he poops. Avoid the poop. It's like a cherry bomb. <laughs> and that it will explode. Talk about explosive diarrhea. Okay, he's not as on speed as Mr. Gee was. There we go. We did it. Flawless. I know Princess Fuse summons me. It is my duty to defeat Crimson Helm, defiler of Gale Shrine. But this child and his father saved me from certain death. I owe my life to them. What am I to do? Oh, gonna give up his orb. His loyalty has changed. You obtained a justice orb. What's this? He's so happy. The power orb has chosen you. I don't need to worry anymore. Even separated, the hearts of the canine warriors beat as one. I shall spend the rest of my years here under the guise of Ume. What? You're not going back to the princess? After all we went through. Well, I guess the power is enough. Subjugation of Crimson Helm is now in your hands. Please tell what has transpired to my former master, Princess Fuse. Huh. I'm more worried about you and the kid. <laughs> Don't get into other, any other shenanigans, okay? <laughs> wow, that was some fight. Guess the animal kingdom has rough is a rough place. Yeah, it's a lot more complicated than people think. <laughs> All right, <laughs> another fight with a dog. Uh, log book. I guess we'll check the bestiary. Got a new entry. We got Gi. Now we got Jin. I think he's based off of Shiba Inu. Jin stands for justice. To show compassion to both living and the dead. To care enough to give one's own life and service. Alright. Okay, you can move the scroll too. Show off the other dogs. We got Gi. I think Gi's supposed to be a husky. Right, got some more fish for our fish tomb. Crawfish, freshwater crustacean, brandishing the set of enormous claws. Whopper. Fish that devoured the moon's reflection on the water surface. Yeah, this is like a one of a kind fish. We'll probably sell it and like talk a pass for like extra money. Treasure, got crystal. Okay, it's just the fortune that Miss Lady gave us. All right. Um. So, we should probably find a save point. Um, let's head towards our next destination. There's one more... Oops, there's one more dog we gotta find, Kamiki. I guess I could warp there. Yeah. It's, it's like a hop, skip, and a jump away from Kamiki, though. Gotta hit Toshio Spriggs, see how, uh... See how Kushi's doing with that barrel. Did she, uh, at least get it out of the area? Uh, okay, she's not here anymore. Head to Shinshu. Oops. Here's the cave. That sure is a long way. For her to drag that barrel. Oh. Wait. Is there even a path down here? Are you just gonna tumble off the mountain like I am? Heave ho! Heave ho! Oh, still got a way to go! It's taken ages just, just to get this far. And you carry it this far? <laughs> now you're gonna carry it the rest of the way to the village! Don't worry about that! I might not look it, but I'm quite tough. Brewing sake is my life! If I can't manage on my own, where will I be? Wow, I underestimated you. I'll keep my mouth shut from now on. Well, thanks for coming to see me anyway. Here's a little something for your trouble. Aw, thanks. Babe, 
<laughs> Give me a holy bone. I completely restore solar energy. I probably won't use that for a while. I only have three three units of energy anyway. You can give me a bit of help, could you? Look, sweetie, this four-legged furball couldn't carry that. I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I know you gave me a bone, but I can't. I could. I could. I could summon all sorts of divine powers, but I can't. All right. I think the nearest safe point is by that guardian sapling there. And yeah, we'll go to Kamiki. Save Kamiki for next time. Oops. Alrighty. I got the Nurigamis in the background on the scroll. Save over here. Okie doke. Well, hope you guys are having a fun time with this. And I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.